Uh, what up YouTube, this is a different type of video, so basically a how-to tutorial. Um, what basically I'm going to give you a rundown, these are my three backup hard drives now. This is a 320 gig Western Digital Passport. Uh, this is two. Uh, this is a 120 gig. Uh, I think this is a 120 gig, and this is a 250 gig. Worse than digital. These are both. All three are my backups. Now the issue I've had with these, these normally sit underneath here. Now right now I've got my 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 DS light up here as well. I've got like my old phones sitting here as well. But these normally just sit right there in between those little sections there. And I normally keep these. I had these on the side. Um, a lot of it had my like my old wrestling pay per view sort of stuff that I just kept. I don't watch wrestling anymore, but I just had it on there. I don't have some like some Bollywood stuff on it and. Um, the other hard drive was one of my backups for some of my sort of video files and stuff. I had them, some of my music as well. So those were my backups, my old backups. Now, I kept them over, but recently um, I went to go back and get something out of one of these drives. And for some reason, uh, what happened was, if I'm going to show you right now, this is my computer setup, as you can see here. I've got some uh, thermal compound that I sometimes I've used on like a project. And my little Etsy over there. And then I've got my screen. My, I've got an iMac right over here. I've uh, got some stuff on it. I've got my big iMac over here as well. Let me just focus into... Bam, bam, bam. Okay, cool. And uh, I'll plug in one of these drives so you can exactly see exactly what goes on. So I've got two USB cables, little mini ones, not long cables. So yeah, plug it into your little drive. And I've got a, an Apple keyboard here. And I'll plug it in. Just clicks into the side here. Boom. So it's booing up. See the light, little, little light flashing here as well. You can hear that, that faint little clicking sound. Now when I heard the clicking sound, I was really pissed off. And it's like, it basically, it's called the click of death. And the issue is inside, the head is trying to read from the platter. And what's happening is it's going back and forth, back and forth, and it's hitting each of the edges. Now there is a fix to some of these drives anyway. The problem is these are 2.5 inch drives. And the amount of data that's actually on the platter, it's a smaller ring. And um, the data is more compressed, and the larger the hard drive is, the more data that's actually compressed on that platter. And it's trying to, the head's trying to pick it up. A lot of times, it's the heads on these that go faulty. And bad thing is, I always stick to one brand, so I have all Western Digital drives and that I keep. So these both the same sort of issue as well. It's not picking up, and my computer's not mounting the drive. So I jump onto uh, Disk Utility here. Disk Utility, boom. Jumps up with my Disk Utility there. So I'll just show you exactly what's on here right now. This is my one I just keep here. So I'm focusing today. So it's got my Thunderbolt 8TB uh, connected there, uh, but it's not picking up uh, this Western Digital uh, 320 gig. Uh, that's this thing right here. So it's not picking it up, which is a shame because I really like this hard drive. I really, really like this hard drive. And it's one of my, my go-to drives. Anyway, let's just take that out now because it's not going to boot at all. Um, this is another 250 gig. Western Digital, this, this is a 250 gig I've got, and I'm going to plug this thing in, like there, put it into here, my Apple keyboard, if it gets actually, it connects in, if you can hear that faint clicking sound again, uh, same issue I've got with this drive as well. It's just they've been sitting there for a year now. Just as like I've, I've never used them. And th the bad thing is with these hard drives. You need to always use them. And at a certain point if you stop using them. And you just have them sitting. They'll just expire. And that's what's happening here as well. It's just not booting up at all. And hear the same clicking sound on this one as well. And it's the fine. This is a 120. This is my oldest drive. So 120 gig. So uh, this one is. And uh, this is the stuff that I had. I think some... Some Bollywood stuff is on this one here, uh, but let me just, just put this in. The other one, the lived, the lived game one had some, um, some uh, what's it, wrestling pay per views. So all my wrestling pay per views are were on there. So all the WrestleManias, man, damn, it's gonna have miss that. But don't watch wrestling anymore, so it's okay. It's not too bad. There you can hear the same sort of clicking sound and uh, my um, disc. Utility still not picking up and it's connected as you can see the wires there and it got all the way to the back of the iMac and nothing is coming up at all So it's completely dead now. There is a way to fix these drives um, If you can send them away So if the data is important you can send them away and if it's making a clicking sound you can get the head changed because a, a lot of time nine out of ten times it's gonna be that head that just screws up and it's just It's like a record LP player and the little pin 
uh, on the actual head, the thing is just it just can't pick up data for some reason and you have to end up just changing it so the same thing sort of applies to these you have to basically change that head now what you can do is another fix that one of my friends actually told me was to freeze these drives up now freezing them is interesting because how the hell do you freeze a drive the other thing you can try and doing is work if it's not reading or something is tap the drive never tap the drive on the top if you tap in the drive on the top because this is like, you can do it with some other drives, but because this is a plastic casing, now if you push onto the top of the drive, what you're doing is you're pushing onto the head. Now if you push onto that head, it's going to scratch the platter. Now you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that if you are going to tap the drive, just tap it on the side from there. Now I've already tried that and it hasn't worked for these drives. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to freeze these drives. And what you would need is it's pretty sort of like domestic sort of repair here but what you would need is a frost free freezer now if you haven't got frost free don't try this okay but i'm going to go ahead i'm going to like cut to another part of this video and i'll show you exactly how i'll get these drives sorted okay okay we are back uh it's pretty late now and uh i've got the drives with me here these are the three drives as i said my 320 gig western digital portable ignore the noise in the background it's just um just at my folks and uh, you know, preparing some food. But anyway, we're at the freezer right here. This is the freezer right here. And uh, set the temperature, the freezer temperature to about low. Don't want to set it too high because I don't want these things to basically just corrode. So if you haven't got this temperature setting thing, then it may not be fortunate. Don't really, I'm not going to go too high. I'm going to set it to about one or something. be fine anyway. Because obviously you don't want to be leaving these there and on a high temp and then obviously they'll corrode or something will happen to them. So just try and be cautious with that anyway. But these are the drives here. I'm going to Grab myself a little caviar bag. This is an Asda shopping bag. Grab those. I'm gonna wrap these things up. So what you can do here, you can just basically just wrap the bag. You don't need too much. You just need a simple bag. Make sure the bag has no holes so the air can't sort of escape. So this bag is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna wrap this thing up. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so we wrap the drives up. Made sure they're wrapped properly. And open up this freezer. Oof. Oh, it's got some food in it, but got a little slot right there. So I'm going to put it right back here, right back here. I'm going to leave that sitting. What I would recommend um, is to actually leave your drive sitting uh, for about 24 to uh, 48 hours and see exactly what happens. But anyway, I'm going to leave this sitting, and I'll be uh, I'll be back to see exactly what happens. Okay, uh, this has been um, A so far, and uh, check out the other video that we uploaded as well, which will be the result video, showing you how exactly this went along and how if it worked, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because I want to get that data out there, hoping this works. If it doesn't work, then how can I go out and buy another hard drive like this, maybe take the platter out of that and exchange it around. But anyway, I'm going to close this freezer, and uh, yeah, uh, if you want to see more how-to tutorials, um, like and subscribe, this has been your boy Ace, also in the version 1v1. Uh, hopefully this works, uh, so peace out.